Okay, hi everybody. So this will be my third day on Vancouver Island and um, today I'm going across the island. Uh, two and a half hour drive probably for me to go to a town called Courtney in Comox Valley to uh, carve with Uncle Kevin, Ryan Cook's best friend. Um, I grew up in Courtney for about five years when I was younger when my mom and my real dad were still together. So I gotta go see if I can see my old house too, see if it's still there. So yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a great day today. I'm kind of tired, but uh, I can't wait to see what uh, me and Kev are gonna come up with, what uh, what he wants to carve today. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Yeah, I just want to say like um, I'm still on the ferry on the way home, but um, I'm editing this video and I'm realizing that I'm not giving Kevin too much time to speak. I'm just, you know why? Because I'm just so, I'm so pumped up on um, there. So I'll remember to next time to look at the camera when I'm talking and let give people time to talk. So I'm sorry about that, Kev. So, but you guys are going to notice through the video like he's trying to explain something that I kind of butt in just because I'm so my adrenaline is just pumping like when i first met ryan ryan cook right so it was my first time being at kevin's place so i just want to say i'm sorry in advance so i'm going to stop this video and i'm going to put it in the beginning of the video yep okay so look i'm looking at the camera one thing i love about vancouver island just like everything's so green there's just so much trees and wildlife on this island right it's not like it's not like the mainland where i live it's just more Everything's more slow paced, everybody's more chill. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just, I love the island. And the best, the best thing about it is you're surrounded by the ocean. Yep. Comox Valley. Okay, so we're almost at Uncle Kev's looking at the GPS on my phone here and uh, yeah look at these big old trees up in here beautiful area okay so we are here at Uncle Kevin's Paradise so you guys know um, I'm friends with Ryan Cook now this is Ryan Cook's best friend Here we go, I think he made a video making that uh, wolf. This place is amazing. Just carve Rob, look at this Sasquatch. There it is, Vancouver Island Sasquatch. His wood spirits are so cool. Look at this big wizard. There's lots of stuff to show you guys. Look at this. The mushroom tower up top. It's a, this is a big, huge burl on the outside. That's the center of the tree, right? Look at this dragon. I don't know what we're going to carve today. It's either a dragon head or a lady face. Oh yeah, so he's got uh, deer, deer antlers as the horn things, man. Just wicked. Look at this. You guys, his YouTube channel is Uncle Kevin's Carving. I'll leave a link below. I think there's just going to be a video on showing all his carvings here and then I'll have another video what me and him are going to carve. Super cool. Look at that negative space in there and the wings. Super awesome. There you go, Kevin Lewis, 2019. 
There's a big bear. This is big stuff. Oh, that's a cougar. Or bear. Cougar, I think. But look at, he carved it. It's, it's this friggin' tree. Anyways, let's get into the let's get into all the goodies that he's got in his yard here. It's just uh, it's just unreal. He lives here with his family, and uh, today's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Eagle heads. I, I do want to practice. I do want to get better at eagle heads. Yeah, I do want to get uh, better at eagle heads. So I got to try and take advantage of what he's. Because I'm, I'm going to be learning today. I'm coming in this with an open mind. Not that I know absolutely nothing, right? That's what you have to do when somebody's showing you things. Pretend you, you've you never done it before and everything's... Your mind's open. And it's not like, yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. If he shows me something and I know how to do it, I'm not going to tell him I know how to do it. Look at this dragon. What is that? Well, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little uh, troll or something sitting in his mouth. Like, how cool is that? It's a dragon's buddy. This is all western red cedar for sure. Oh yeah, first growth. Yeah. Now what do we carve today? I'm pretty tired from this trip. I bet you that's one of his first dragons right there. That. To that. But they all have, this is more simplified, right? Yeah, we're gonna go around this whole yard. I'm gonna show you guys everything. And I'll just make this one video. This bench. Looks like a driftwood bench. Dragons in there. You know, he, I really appreciate him letting me. Uh, look at that. Those are the. Um, I forget the name of those birds. Got some ravens up there. There's a raven here. Got a wild wolf. There's just so much to take in. These guys are cool. This guy's super cool. You guys see how he does his eyes? It's a spirit pole. See, it's all fantasy stuff. Unicorns. Just awesome. I'm in paradise right now. This is just wicked. This is unreal. Big toad there. It's a tree. Look at the burls on it. See, he's got a wood spirit there with a troll inside the wood spirit or an elf. That's imagination. That's the kind of stuff that I'm going to start doing after seeing this. It opens up my mind. It's the geop tree. The geop tree is a very rare, rare creature that travels with the seasons, seeking warmth. It moves like a frog and has spikes and it is it's toes for climbing, rocks. Maybe you guys are best reading this. I don't care how long these videos are.
Oh, it's a, the tree's attached to the toad. I get it. Oh, you got a nice little elf lady in there too. Just awesome. Huge iguana over there. Big root mouse with rocks in there. Made it like another tree. Let's see? Took down this big old Douglas fir. Planted a cedar tree in there. Awesome. Eagle. This is so wicked in here. Man, I need to I need to move to Vancouver Island and have something be able to live something like this. He's got his target for uh, throwing axes, I guess. Or maybe bows, crossbows. There's a monk. A little bear up there. Climbing the tree. It's a monk. It's awesome. I haven't seen no um I bet you I bet you he doesn't have any of his owls around because he probably sells them all. But hey, how cool is this? Here's a bar. This is his first chainsaw carving he said he did here. So one see there's like a wishing well with the wood spirit too, see? Put some branches on there. Oh, it's a root mass. See? Anything. Anything works. Just have fun. This is his first chainsaw carving. I think he said he did. A big gargoyle. So, see, like, he even kept his chainsaw. He did that with a big saw, too, he said. Is this like a bar here? Some bears in it. And a uh, cougar. Here's this, uh, here's this uh, big, huge lizard. He's a, Kevin's a professional chainsaw carver, like he's won the title in chainsaw carving competitions. Look at that. It's a cool mask. Oh, that's right. Uh, Ryan said he liked clowns. You guys see how much stuff there is to take in here? Little bears. Little paintings. Here's a little double tree. Burls. There's the Hobbit shack. I'm not going to go inside there though because that's his carving station and I don't know if he wants people to see inside there. Let's see here. Where do we go now? Gargoyle here. Man, I got to really take a leak. I'll be back. Okay, let's start here again. This gargoyle. There's Burl. See, look at just any faces. Like... This is really opening my mind, like a iguana there, a little lizard there coming on the face. Faces in there. Little gargoyle up here with deer antler things. Nice boobies. Like look at this face, you know, just have fun. That's what this is about. This is totally about having fun, this place. He is, to what's the word? A total fantasy carver. Have I missed anything over here? Nope. Look at this old wizard and his a dragon up there. This castle over there. Wood spirit right there. Mushroom burls. There it is. There's the Uncle Kevin Hobbit hut. That's where we'll be carving up here. You see there guys, there's still, there, there is a spook owl. Here's an owl, here's some owls. 
This is whose corner? Whose corner? Look at this guy. <laughs> That's wicked. See his head's all like popped up. There you go. Look at that. That's super cool. I love it. <laughs> I bet you he carved that in about an hour. Hey, how's it going? There's Uncle Kev. <laughs> We're just giving him the whole tour of the place, man. Right on. Yeah, the, the, hour, the video's been like an hour and a half long already because there's so much stuff here to uh, show. <laughs> I said earlier, I said, where's his owls? I bet you he doesn't have much spook owls here because he probably sells them all. There's a cutie. I like that type. Give him big ears. And... That's a, uh, yeah, that's a spook. That's a spook owl right there. Yeah. Is that what Ryan Wave calls him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's got the big, huge, big ears. I like that owl right there too, man. Yeah, that's it's... another spooky owl. Yeah, too. his head's like popped and away. And then I up. give him like human eyes, see? Instead of like we're traditional allies, like I like the, I like that. It's more character. Yeah. And then you know, but people love this kind of allies too, right? Yeah, it's that's like what I. That's all I've been doing, and just putting that little white paint in there, like. Oh yeah. Guys. Yeah. I'm a fucking copycat. I man. do that sometimes, but I, like I love my own owls. Like that guy's cross-eyed. Yeah, but he's, he's awesome. Funny. He's cute. He's awesome. Like he's <laughs> like he's fan total fantasy man. Like, look at him. he's a grumpy bugger, right? Eh? Yeah. Look, he's just kind owl. of. <laughs> hey, did you see this headboard here? I did. I did oh, that's this, what that's like, a headboard. That's like 25 years old. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So I did that. The Lord of the Rings. You got Gandalf, the two hobbits, the dragon with the wraith flying at the castle, like, and the horse, flax and stump or other. Yeah, and I then the two treants. Then I made their arms out of driftwood and their hands. This... So that was my headboard for a while, and my footboard too. So I was just like saying in the video that you just you you have you have fun, man. Oh yeah. You have fun. Oh yeah. I'm sure when it's time it. to get serious, there's time to get serious. Yeah. But everything here that I've seen so far is fun. Yeah, yeah, totally. You, you're fun. Like I like. Did you see this one here? Oh yeah. That's cool. And then you just play with it. There's and I was, like a fairy. And that's what I said. Do, 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 I was, that's do, do, what do. I said. I said like, look how much fun he's having, and he just puts something anywhere he wants. Yeah. It doesn't have to go. It's not. It's, this is what I like about the carvings. Yeah. It just does what he wants, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you get custom orders, and then you're sort of like, then it's, oh boy. Then, it's, then you get pushed. Then it's on. You know? Then it's on. Then you got to get her done. Like, yeah, you sir, get that's her serious done time. And people are more specific, and so that's why more stress. That's why I won't do custom because I'm not good enough to do custom orders. Oh yet. yeah, you are. Thanks, but Kev, it's but stressful. That's why I don't you want. Know? I don't like, want. Hey, why are you doing this? I just want to have carvings, and people can buy my carvings. Yeah, have you know fun what I mean? with it, right? Like, look at that gargoyle there. Oh yeah, that's I showed my it. own style, my own guy. Give him like, a certain look. Like, yeah, like how long would this something like this take you to carve? That guy's from? probably like three, four hours. <laughs> yeah, I would, would say four me. hours for sure. That would take me three days. I'm gonna do gargoyles too once I get better. More, I, I haven't done much like. Uh, 360 carvings. I'm yeah. just getting into oh, it. Oh, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm so used to doing the wood spirits and there's just like a 2D, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so. nice to move on to three dimensional. What's a good one is like this type of wood spirit, like the wizard. It's all you're doing is putting a wood spirit face in them, give them a leafy hat. And then you just robe basic hands, just a little idea. Little cuffs. Somebody yeah. can put planters in yeah, there. Yeah, and then you can put a, like a, a, one of those glass balls in there or whatever. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, like this is the stuff that I'll start doing, kind of things like this, right? Yeah, then you're moving, you're still doing your spirit but I'm you're moving to... Um, moving forward. Moving forward a bit, yeah. To 3D. Because the block out, the block out can be the trickiest part, you think? Because for, for me doing, de like, um, this is what Stephen Kenzora told me. That's why he gave me some confidence. Yeah. He goes, Jordy, lots of, even like, uh, what's, there's pro cars, what's behind, uh, uh, intermediate? Uh, semi-pro? 
Yeah, semi pro. Yeah. Some of them aren't good with Dremels and stuff like that. No, no. So Steve's like, Jordy, you got you, once you figure out the saws a bit better, yeah, and blocking out and stuff like that, then you're gonna. That's when you're gonna really accelerate because you know how to use the Dremels and all the little tools. Oh right? yeah, you're into the fine, like the cottonwood bark stuff. Yeah, right? you're into the fine detail already really well. So to just incorporate that into a bigger piece, it's not a problem, right? Yeah, just figuring out how the saws cut better and all that. Okay, we're getting to the end of the road here because I gotta get home tonight, but um, yeah, so like, look at that dragon head. Like, look who, it's a deer dragon head. It's freaking wicked. Here's a wood spirit in a live tree. And look, the tree's doing fine. And you can see it's the trees healing around it. Okay, so let's just uh, hurry up and get this done. I think Uncle Kev wants to do uh Lady face because then we're challenging we're both because he hasn't done one in a while and they're really challenging to do and it will be a fun video because mine will look probably end up looking like a mongoloid that's a nice raven so he's got all these rocks painted mine will look like a mongoloid I'm not gonna say the word what it will look yeah there's wishing well right here I love the wishing wells and uh a hummingbird painting is super cool here. I love it. So yeah, we're gonna do uh, this big old eagle. We're gonna do um, we're gonna try a lady's face because well, I love carving the faces and. Um, that's a unicorn. It's a freaking unicorn. It's a freaking unicorn. See how much stuff there is here? Beautiful property. Hi there. That's my sister, Julie. Hey, my sister's name's Julie too. Okay, so I think Uncle Kev gave us, look at all these burls. I think he gave us permission to uh, come inside the holy workstation. This is probably where he works on his, look at the stained glass. Look at this door. Holy, it's burls everywhere, burl, burl heaven. Are you still finding burl? Yeah, look at all the, you're a burl hoarder, eh? Oh, you betcha. Yeah, when I was falling. So I got some nice bird's eye yellow cedar burls here. Some red cedar. Look at that one there. What's that's, that one? That's yellow cedar. Then there's a maple one. So yeah, those, I save those for special occasions. That's right, yeah. My buddy, and um, he lives just off, uh, he lives just in, across from the airport in Nanaimo. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got like a mill in his backyard. It's like this place, but he's got crazy logs. He's got a maple burl that's like, at the thing. this thing is a, is fucking massive, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm talking like... If you lie down, it's two of you wide. That's how wide the tree Whoa, was. Oh, eh? And it's big burl like that, bird's eye. Just like gold. Yeah. And yeah. So, but I just don't really have any much use for it yet. No, it doesn't hold up too good outside. My buddy, bur, uh, my buddy maple, Pete, he's a wood turner, so he loves that. Oh, yeah, because if it's indoor, it's great. Yeah. Uh, outdoor, it's a little, it doesn't hold up to the weather too good. He loves, uh, he loves, uh, Pete loves turning maple. Oh, yeah. It's... I hate carving maple. Oh, do you? I hate it. I can't stand it. Oh, I got a piece to show you in my living room, Poseidon God. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, we'll check it out. It, it doesn't, like, when you're doing it with Dremels, it's fuzzy, right? Yeah. It doesn't clean up too good, right? Yeah, I hate it. I, I just can't stand it. Or it, it. burns. Your your bits end up burning the wood. Yeah. Yeah. I just, so I just hate it. Really Kevin's car Kev's carvings, is that for YouTube? That was, was it already? when I was in Newfoundland carving. Oh, yeah. I, I was set up on the roadside. I had you carved things. roadside? In Newfoundland. I showed up in Newfoundland with 600 bucks to my name. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit, I don't even have money to get home. Yeah. So I got to stick with the plans. So I quit falling and went out to Newfoundland. And then I was like, oh, gosh, got to yeah. do it. So I did roadside carving, started collecting driftwood, carving little faces, puffins, whale tails. That's how you start, man. Yeah. And then you're forced into it. And I was doing great out there. I made a great living. Yeah, it was wicked. awesome. F wicked. Yeah. And then that's what when I really uh, decided that, oh, yeah, I can make a living doing this. 
<laughs> yeah, I went for it and just full on. Some days zero, some days 1,500, some days 200, you know. You never know what you're going to make. Some days 40. On the side of the road. On the side of the road, yeah. The generator? Uh, yeah, little generator, little mm -hmm. Honda 700. This looks neat. Just to run my Dremels. That's yeah, a there's an old one too. Yeah, look at the wizard in there. <clears throat> yeah, and that was oh, abalone wizard. there. Oh, yeah, wicked. I couldn't believe that day that you made that dragon video. Because I made a stupid little fat dragon. I right? saw that. that was I'm hilarious. like, holy shit. And he's got the avalon shell. He's got to put it in the eyes. Because I was going to put the avalon shell on my eyes. <laughs> but mine looks retarded compared to yours. Okay. Yours look great. You guys, this is uh, this is a bar that Uncle Kev, Uncle Kev and uh, Mr. Douglas Fur made. He made a video of this, didn't you? Yeah, we did a video of this one. Yeah, this is wicked. This, is, this goes up. I just got to bracket it, yeah. Yeah. And... Um, and then do a finished coat on everything. So, and this is going to it's going Dawson Creek. Yeah, it's going to Quonset, uh, one of the Quonset centers there. So yeah, we got all the driftwood. That's awesome. So got to do a little fine tuning, not much. Um, this is this is Douglas Fur's face, right? Yeah, I like the way he did the textures and the. See, like, this texture right here. It's nice, eh? That texture's a real nice texture. I love it. Yeah. And I saw that on the video. So, this is your wood spirit, one of your faces? Yeah. See how he just does, leaves everything natural and just does the big cuts in here? I want to get start doing that, too. Because you get a fuller thing, just not such short little cuts. The grapes. And this is uh, Uncle Cav's lady, one of his lady's faces. So, yeah, that looks like a lady, man. Does it? Cool. Yeah, sure does. I know it's tough. I think it's, it's the bad. lips. You just keep pushing, pushing. I think pushing. it's the lips, right? <clears throat> it is. Yeah, lips help. You know, and you just and the smaller nose the and smaller just a smaller nose. like just think of a beautiful little stripper. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Okay, so yeah, let's go see some other stuff. Okay, so this is Kev's. Uh, this is your area. This is my outdoor area. One of them. One of plenty here. Mom and dad and my sister all bought the house together like 12 years ago. That's so it's just under 5,000 square feet. This is all our gym right here. We got an indoor gym, and my sister's got the upstairs and the downstairs split into two. Mom and dad have the downstairs, and me one side. So everybody's got their own living areas. Yeah, absolutely. So you got you got you got cedar all the time, right? Uh, yeah, that's what, all I use. Do you have yeah, these slabs? I actually, I, I floated this log down the river in my kayaks, or kayak one at a time, of course, and then I milled it at the beach and then carried up the slabs for really? this. Really? Down here? Yeah, right down there at the swim hall. Then this is a hot tub deck I made. Oh, holy wicked. The then we got the shower right behind you. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Isn't that killer? Yeah. Little killer. So I got, um, it's plumbed into the house, into my uh, master bedroom there. Yeah. And we got hot water Hello. coming through. How you doing? I'm Jordy. Okay, so I just met uh, Kev's mom, dad, sister. Great people. They all live here. I think it's awesome. This is Kev's place. Yeah. This is my living room. It's a little messy. I got my drone and everything. But check this out. Got some muskox horns. Holy shit, where'd you get those? Skull. My, a friend of mine worked up the in the walrus? Arctic. Yeah, he worked up in the Arctic, so we got him off the uh, Inuit hunters. That's so wicked. I've got the I've got the proper tags for everything. Yeah. And then uh, look at that walrus skull over Holy there. Holy man, that's awesome, bud. That's cool. I've been because I got like bear skulls and wolf skulls and stuff. Eh? Oh yeah, isn't yeah. that something? Look at the size of that. That's thing. wicked. Where you, you got that from him too? Yeah, and then turn around here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that? It's in my self portrait. He's That's, a little bit smaller than me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that for the in a competition? No, I did it for myself. Oh really? So this is maple. <laughs> And I carved it and then let it bolt and let the weather get to it. So then you get all that nice marble effect, you know, the changing of the colors through there. I had a shield with another walrus skull on there, so I've got to do another one. 
I ended up selling it. So, because I had two, I'm like, okay, I can let So, let me go. get this straight. You carved it? Yeah. You let it sit outside and start spolting and stuff? Yeah, before I did the fine-tuning sanding and all that. Yeah. Yeah. And then it changed color. It's maple, right? Because it was quite, uh, it was really green maple. So, once you leave it outside, then you get all your grays and just I mean, spolting, it's called. Yeah, or I know spolting. Yeah, Is I know spolting? spolting. Yeah, it's a fungus. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't even crack that much, did it? No. And then look at this. That's like deer. Is that? No, that's <coughs> elk. That's elk, right? So we got, this is caribou. Oh, you this got is that. Elk. You got that horn from that whale. This is uh, moose, and this is narwhal tusk. Where'd you get the narwhal tusk? Same buddy. Buddy, man. My yeah. buddy, my other friend has one of those tusks, my too. My buddy's got quite a few of them, and they're all yeah, for this guy's, sale. And they, he's got the you should have painted this guy face. black. No. <laughs> just kidding man. let's get out of here you know that it was the hardest thing to carve i, I was carving <laughs> with the mirror and i was trying to do my thing i'm like this is really difficult pants down outside there when everybody was gone just worried somebody's going to pull into the gallery right then and just like, come, uh -oh. <laughs> that's what he's talking about right there this is cool though man this is wicked what idea that's ivory yeah oh yeah for so sure this pop, pops out just like oh that. yeah awesome that? yep and then i just got it so it fits right in yeah all your faces you know just you have your style i can see all your faces are all like i can see it's kev's face yeah yeah do you know what i mean yeah okay well let's go carve because it's getting later in the day yeah you gotta get home we're gonna go Kev, kev's gonna show me down by the what's this river called this is the browns the browns river it goes into the puntledge river yeah, uh, just down the river, uh, just down a little ways. So I kayak this. You can kayak this right into Courtney. Oh, really? Yeah, just down around the corner. There's a 12 foot waterfall, some slides. It's like a four, four plus river. And you can go uh, even tubing down it too, right? Eh? Not this one. It's a little too bit uh, oh, dangerous. Yeah. Uh, tubing time. You got to go over to Puntledge, Puntledge River. It's me. fun. We were talking to Kev because I remember my I was, I was telling you guys I grew up in Courtney for a few years when I was really like before five years old. But Kevin had the same. We knew the same people, and I'm gonna go buy the house after he lived on the same road that I lived on. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's crazy, hung man. Out with the same friends. The same and... friends. He hung. I, there was three brothers. I said my friend was Jamie. And your friend and was Shane, the middle brother. Because Kev's two years oh, older. Leonard than he. was the oldest brother. Leonard. Leonard, that's right. Leonard Mall. All that's crazy. Mall. Let's go check this out. Yeah. It just doesn't end. It's just all. Oh, look at this garden here. So yeah. This is mom and dad's sitting area. Yeah. And my sister's got the upstairs balcony. Everybody just hangs out wherever. Absolutely. And like, look at the cedars you got on your property too, eh? I know. Yeah, they're so beautiful, you don't want to take them down. No. Though. But um, when it's windy, you're probably like, uh-oh. Nope. We're in a little pocket right here. It's oh, really? pretty good. I Actually, when it was windy, I was flying my drone and I put it into that big tree there. It hit the top about 10 feet out. And then it dropped down every branch and landed on the ground. I, I brought my drone, but it's not syncing with my phone. I got the oh, same no. drone as you. So I'll have a look at this. Oh, me and my dad built this. So it's an outdoor fire pit area. That's wicked. Yeah, so this is one of the favorite places now. I bet. In the wintertime. When did you guys build rain, this? Pissing down, huh? When did you guys build this? I uh, just... Uh, Two Novembers ago, oh, yeah. so it's the second year now. Did you do all this texture with your gouger? Yeah, with my power gouger. Yeah, I got the cheap one, that you don't want that orange one, the single one. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, it's just cheap. It's like from Russia or something. It looks good though, eh? Yeah, absolutely. And then there's our And you know what, hole. Kev, one sec, sorry. Yeah. I say in lots of my videos, stuff like this, I call them spirit lines. Yeah. I, I love carving stuff like this. Man. Come and have a look at this guy here. I love carving stuff like and that. And then I fit him in right there. Yeah, see? Right behind the bar. Yeah. So it's sort of hidden. Exactly, man. And you, you'll, you'll just pop out. See that face in there, guys? That's what I'm talking about, just having fun. This is just totally open. You're going to see my carvings after, you know, after I leave here, and you're going to see a lot of your influence. Good. You know? And it's like Ryan says, you just take, you take somebody else's style, 
yeah. practice it and you'll turn it into your own. Yeah, for sure. Right? It's all going to be you anyways, but you can take what you like from every car. Every yeah, remote. like this guy. See how he brings his... I used to say, don't bring your beards, your mustaches down so low. It looks funny, but no, it doesn't. It looks better. I it like it. It's in the character because he's you know, old. They don't need some... to be like a perfect human. Yeah. You know what fun is that if you do that all the time? You know. And then there's my swim hole. Nice sandy beach. Nice swim river. Might as well. I don't care how long these videos are, really. No. I just still can't believe that we're still friends with them, man. Same people. I know. Yeah, this is oh, this is like paradise, bud. I have a pop. Yeah. Sunday morning pop. Yeah, so see those waves up there and those little kayaks I got? The I surf those. Oh yeah, you just... out there, you play in those waves and up the river we got play features all over. It's awesome. In summertime rolls around, we uh, rake the beach so it's nice and sandy, and then there's no current and the water warms up a little bit more. It's a chilly river. Is this your property here, this river? Right here, yeah, right to the river. And the river's Courtney's property? Uh, well, we've got water rights, but yeah, yeah, it's basically Courtney's property, I guess. Got some old firs in here, eh? Oh, yeah. There's a big one back there. It's like five feet across, and we've got big cedars along there. Yeah, man. That's yellow cedar, this tree. You don't usually get them this uh, low down, so it's floating yeah. down the river, you know? The Usually they grow, yellow cedar grows at 2,200 feet. I I got some yellow. I don't like carving it. No, I know. It cracks up a bit. Yeah, it cracks like crazy, it but does, I carved a yeah. gnome, and it's sitting in my cardboard, and it's cracked like hell, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's such tight grain, too, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice for, like, bald-headed eagles, you know? It's or yeah. something indoor, right? Because you can sand it up so much it looks like ivory kind of, right, Kev? Yeah, it's beautiful stuff. Yeah, exactly. But the dust is really a problem. Yeah, yeah. And then see, we got the old stumps right there. See the old first, yeah, absolutely. Notches. Yeah, first There's one behind you there. First growth stump, yeah. springboard notches. The, yeah. Do you know uh, Montague Harbor uh, on Galliano Island? Galliano, yeah. Yeah, a place called Montague Harbor. My grandpa used to own it. Yeah, he logged it he, he, for his uh, logging. Yeah. He was a big logger, right? Oh, wow, really? Oh, yeah. And then, and then I don't know, Johnson something. And then Powell River, too, Goat Island. Yeah. Yeah, he had a big company. Is that it? Are we still? Oh, uh, well, you want to see my pile? <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this spoiled bugger, man. Yeah. All cedar. Do you got buddies that drop it off too and stuff? I usually trade for carvings. Yeah. Get people and then I, I've been hoarding for years. Yeah. Because you never know what piece you're going to use, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Ryan told me Kev's a hoard, wood hoarder. Oh, yeah. So I got piles of some driftwood. Oh, look at this. This is you wood here, man. That's that piece. That's a piece. Very That's nice that piece, piece, Uncle. Yeah, it is. That's you would right there. Isn't that cool? Uncle Doug was, uh, sorry, Douglas Fir was carving it. Didn't even know it was you, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the one. There's another there, nice yep. piece of you there. You guys found this driftwood. Yeah. Yeah, just up the lake from us here. So, we're going to do some, uh, try and carve a female face. You mean transgender, probably. Transgender, yeah, probably. probably Mine probably. will look That's transgender. Okay. Mine too. Let's try and that's find a good. piece where we can do big hair because my mom had big hair. Did she? Yeah. Yeah, so let's find a chunk out of here. Oh, there's some neat um, bird's eye maple too, right? Eh? Maple burl. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. Big burl, big tree warts. It's a little punky though. So we're going back down here to end this video because Kev, we're talking about you and I told him how much I love it and he said he's got actually a yew tree here. He said that they're all over the place around here, which is crazy because it's, it grows so old. It, like it's just, I don't know, I just love yew wood. Yew trees are just magical and mystical, right? Where is it still down more? Keep going. Yeah, you're almost there. That's it right there. Where? Right in front of you. 
This guy. Yeah, it's dead though, but still. That's look at that, look how cool that is. Look at the bark and everything, eh? Isn't that a cool piece? This is probably like a hundred years old, I'd say. Oh, at least, yeah. The wood around here is like 120, so yeah. Hard to believe, eh? You look at those big cedars there, they're only like 120 years old. Look at that, that's freaking cool. We got some more up the river there too, but it are alive. Kev's giving me a piece of U wood that he found on the, uh, found just along the riverbed here. He showed me to, so I'll show that to you guys later, but anyway, we gotta get carved in here, yeah. okay? <laughs> Thanks for showing me that, Kev. Yeah. That's awesome. This is carved in, it looks like a snake dragon. It's pretty wild, eh? That's Newfoundland maple. Do they got cedar in Newfoundland? No, mostly um, pine, maple, birch. Do you like carving birch? I didn't mind it. Whatever's available, you That's know. That's right, yeah. If you're in somewhere you don't get cedar, then you make the best of it. And you know one thing that I realized too, is when I first started chainsaw carving, yeah. a bit like Douglas fir, I would not carve it because it was so hard. But now I know how to sharpen my chains better. Yeah, it's a big it's, difference. It's, eh? it, I'll carve any wood. Yeah, and as long as you're finishing it properly, and yeah. if it's off the ground, it's gonna last. Yeah, just like yeah. everything else does. But you cedar's know, the best. It. Cedar's cedar the best. Cedar is the best. That's the why the natives make the, the totem poles out of the cedar. Yeah. Okay, it's carve time. Okay, so uh, me and Kev decided that uh, we're gonna do like a elf lady face. So he's got these books here, right? So we're going through these books. I like I like this kind of elf lady, the skinny face with the long nose. Hey guys, look, it's the dragon. He made the dragon video. There it is, just carved Rob. I've seen people in my group, I got a Facebook group, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers, yeah. try to make dragons like the you, this dragon hair. Yeah. So they're watching your videos. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, Brian Moore out there in the UK did one. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian, nice. Yeah, wicked. Okay, so we're gonna get set up here. He's got he's got burls all over the place, and uh, here's the burl I'm gonna be. This is yellow cedar. Yep. Yeah, with bird's eye in it. Bird's eye, yellow cedar, baby. This looks like a face here, like the eye and the mouth. That's so, it. You see it. Oh, I, like yeah, this guy here, you know. Yeah. This is what is this kind of curve? That look. That's you guys, a look. Burl. He's like an orc sort of face. He's an orc wart face. Yeah, so I just look at the lumps. I could see where her nose was there. Put some holes in him, give him a little lip, put some eyes in, done. So at least like, see, how he, it, right? see how he used the wood to make the face, basically. Yeah. Oh, and the friggin' tree itself is the ears. Yeah, exactly. I cut it off a tree and I'm like, oh, I can do something with that. And yeah. then you sit around and you look at your burls, like the ones I got on the wall. And then sometimes you see something in it. That's right, yeah. Okay, we gotta get set up here and get going. Kev's just gone to get something, but I just wanna say like um, how honored I am to be here. And uh, I'm totally excited. I even told Kev I need to slow down and just put it in neutral because it's, I'm just so happy. Geez, one more thing I forgot to say. I don't know if I said in the video, like uh, head over to Uncle Kevin's channel and subscribe too, because you know, he's new to YouTube. He's only been at it for like a month or something. So he needs subscribers, guys. Ryan Cook's best friend, my good friend now. And uh, you guys see that he took the time out of his day. He could have been doing lots of other stuff for me to come over there and give me some carving lessons. So it's free. Please do me the favor. Head over there, subscribe. Let's get him some more subscribers so he gets more motivated to do more videos. That's how we're all going to learn. He's a pro carver. He's rated pro. Please. I'll leave a link in the description below to Uncle Kev Carves. And if you're not subscribed to Carve, uh, to, uh, if you're not subscribed to uh, Ryan Cook Carving, I'll leave a description in the video too, down below. I'll leave it in the, something like that. Ryan Cook Carving, Uncle Ke Kevin Carving. Okay, enough. I'm too tired. Bye.